our world is full of mysteries. And every day, thousands of videos are uploaded to TikTok, YouTube, Twitter, and many other social media platforms. It means that there's a lot of mind-blowing and strange things going on somewhere, and someone's capturing it all on camera. The f it's a person standing there. No, it's not. Dude, have you seen what I see right now? <laughs> Hi, I'm James Lefer, and you're watching The Impossible Channel. Welcome aboard. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on for more videos like this. From giants to strange creatures to unexplained phenomena, today we're going to be taking a look at the most mind-blowing videos this month. Are you guys ready? Well, let's go. If you stop to think about it, there's still a lot that we don't know about our world. There's loads of questions that I have and you must have too about things that, well, sometimes we wonder if they existed at some point in time, like giants. Now at first, questioning if giants ever existed may sound crazy, but it's not. For example, in 2004, paleontologists in China discovered giant fossil teeth in Barian Cave in BG County. In 1991, during an excavation at a necropolis in Rome, archaeologists found what's supposed to be a full skeleton of a giant humanoid being. And it doesn't stop there, the list goes on. The thing is, if giants existed or not is still a debate amongst many. Some believe they did, some believe it's just a myth. However, a couple of weeks ago, Andrew Dawson uploaded a video to TikTok of what appears to be a giant humanoid walking on top of Canoe Mountain in Valemount, British Columbia. This is what he captured on camera. It's a person, dude. No, seriously, pull over, pull over. No. It's a person standing there. No, it's not. Dude, have you seen what I've seen right now? <laughs> the video is a bit shaky due to the fact that Andy's friend did not want to stop to film it. It's very difficult to affirm if this is indeed a giant human walking on top of Canoe Mountain in British Columbia or if this is something else. However, if we slow-mo the video, it actually looks like it could be. When Andy uploaded this video, it amassed millions of views and hundreds of comments and internet users were divided. Some believe that this could be actually evidence of giants and others say that this is just an object or an antenna or something like that. However, if we look into the subject, there are other videos that were uploaded to YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and many other social media platforms that actually show the, uh, something very there. similar. We, we noticed that there's a pile of uh, a brush here. And as we look inside, we find out that something... Brad's getting eaten alive. Brad, let me climb out for a minute. Let me get a look into this thing. Oh. I'm gonna, let me walk around it a little bit, first of all. Some kind of creature has taken and piled tons and tons of leaves and branches to either camouflage or make a place to hide. Jim Mills and a group of tourists deep in the woods find some sort of shelter of trees that were apparently snapped by force and not by any type of machine. Intrigued, they start recording it all on camera, and this is what happens next. See, he's standing taller. Uh oh, oh I get back we, to camp. We see something moving on the hill above. Run! Where? Where? Where is it? Is it like where it's it stuck. Like right on the other on the yeah. side of it? Yeah. Uh, no, we'll it stopped and looking at us. It's kind of looking at us. 
moving now. What appears to be a very large humanoid figure can be seen climbing down marble mountains in Vietnam on June 2001. Jim Mills was the leader at the time, and the entire group saw it and was baffled by what they were seeing. In 2020, a very similar video surfaced the internet, but this time in Cypher in India. In both these videos, we can see what's supposed to be a tall humanoid being climbing down the mountain. And as you can see, people are stunned, they're baffled. Now taking into consideration the distance that both these people were from the top of the mountain, it's possible that we're looking at some sort of very tall human being. However, in Andrew's video, it's a bit difficult to affirm what it is exactly that we're looking at because the camera footage is too shaky. In your opinion, what do you think is really going on here? Now, at some point in your lifetime, you've probably heard about skinwalkers. In the Navajo tradition, a skinwalker is a mythological creature that is able to shapeshift into or possess an animal. Skinwalkers are sometimes referred to as witches. Oh my god. The other one's right here. Where'd they go? I'm in the forest right now. What? What, what the f was that? The Navajo tradition goes back hundreds of years ago, and it was only in 1994 that the X-Files actually made it popular th through an episode called Shapes. From then on, people started talking about Skinwalker on Reddit, 4chan, YouTube, and the list goes on. Nowadays, it's a very popular topic, mainly amongst people who are hunting or camping in the woods. Now there's a number of reasons why people should not go camping or hunting all alone at night or in general, it's not a safe thing to do. However, there are experienced hunters or campers who prefer doing so all alone. And it's the case with Abandoned 6.7 YouTube channel who one day decided to go hunting by himself deep in the woods all alone in Augusta, West Virginia. And this is what happened. Hey guys, band is 6.7 on today. Check, come down here checking my camp. I ain't been here since the last video, which was a day and a half ago. Something rubbing through here, as you can see. All that work was in that little pile. And now it's over there. Something's been in here. I, mean, I don't see no foot tracks, so whatever it was, it must have been small. You know what I'm saying? Last time I encountered it was over in that tree line, which you watched my last video. It was terrifying. Basically, there ain't nothing I could have done to it because I only have a pocket knife. Abandoned 6.7 explains that he's been seeing and hearing things in those woods the past couple of days. This is when he apparently hears something once again, but this time he's able to capture it on camera. Check this out. And then went look for it. The f See that shit? What the f was that? What the f A bizarre and pale creature can be seen running very fast behind the tree lines just very close to abandoned 6.7. It's as if this thing, whatever it is, was watching him all along. Now, after watching this video a couple of times, it seems to me that this could be someone crouching and running, but I'm not too sure. This thing, whatever it is, it's too pale and it's too fast. And as you can see, it almost makes no noise. Oh. That shit. What the and after watching the video over and over, it kind of reminds me of the same mysterious creature that appeared in a tsunami in Japan. 
Internet users in his comment section seem to be divided. Some believe that this is an actual skinwalker, and others say it's maybe a dog or something else. In your opinion, what do you think is going on here? Is this a legit encounter with a skinwalker or is it something else? And what would you have done if you were in his situation? Now if there's one unsolved mystery on our world that would be ancient Egypt. Questions like how were the pyramids built, who built them, and why do these gods that are depicted look like they're not human? It's a lot of questions. The thing is, on December 2019, several videos of what's supposed to be a pharaonic stone surfaced the internet and became a viral sensation. Many people were talking about these stones that were capable of things that are not normal. At the time, I featured some of these videos on my YouTube channel of this same pharaonic stone. However, recently, more of these stones have been showing up, and it seems that there's some sort of explanation to it. Here, for example, is one of the first videos that went viral of such an object. In this video, the man starts by showing that the rock seems to interfere with electricity in general. Then he proceeds to show us a mirror in which the rock does not reflect itself into. He then finally takes the rock to a bucket of water, but before he reads what appears to be some sort of instruction, he then drops the rock into the bucket of water and the water somehow boils by itself. The thing is, many internet users were saying that these videos are fake. However, more and more of these videos kept popping up every week. This, for example, is another video, but this time things are a bit different. Take a look. In this specific video, not only the rock becomes invisible, the person's hand also becomes invisible. Now, I'm not too sure if this is real, but if it is, it's quite absurd. What is it that this rock contains or what is it that it's made of? Is it some sort of alien rock or maybe something that they found recently during excavations in Egypt? At the time in 2019, I tried finding an explanation without any success. And then a couple of months ago, more of these videos started showing up on the internet. And this, for example, is one of them. In this particular video, a man proceeds to stop a watch with the rock. And in another video with a completely different rock, a person shows how it does not appear to reflect in the mirror. In these next videos that were showing up of this bizarre pharaonic rock, other things were shown, like wrapping the rock in paper, trying to set fire on it and not being possible. When the paper was no longer wrapped around the stone, it would set fire properly and normal just like any paper would. For example, this specific stone didn't boil like the others did. It was either more subtle or when around light candles, it would start torching up, which is odd.
Not only that, it was shown that certain objects, and I'm not too sure exactly what these kind of objects are made of, but they were either attracted magnetically to it or not. After going viral, many of these videos started a discussion on the internet. Some people thought that this was completely fake, that was just a trick. For example, the water boiling. Some people believe that there is some sort of pipe blowing steam of air or air into the water bucket. However, in one or two videos, we can see the person actually meddling and moving the bucket around. In other words, there is nothing connected to it. The water is simply boiling by itself. Not only that, there are some other videos that really leaves us questioning and baffled, such as the person's hand completely disappearing, paper not catching fire, and other videos too. Now, when it comes to an explanation, I found similar videos of people testing things around this object. In this object, we can see the phrase red mercury, which could actually explain what these stones are made of. The thing is, there were many people comparing these stones with the pine cones that ancient gods held in depictions and statues. And in ancient Egypt, these pine cones were supposed to give these gods immortality or something like that. So whatever is going on here, the question is, did these ancient gods have access to technology that we have no idea about? And could it be that somehow someone actually found these stones during an excavation in Egypt? What is your take? What do you really think is going on here? When traveling by plane, we usually expect the unexpected, like sometimes a plane can get delayed because of weather, sometimes the food isn't that good, usually there's a little bit of turbulence, and the list goes on. However, it's not that common for us to be looking outside and catch something really strange going on outside the window. But this is sort of what happened with Dennis Payne, who's traveling from Calgary to Vancouver on November 2019. This is what happened. Dennis saw what appears to be a portal of light hovering just next to his airplane. At first, he thought it was a lens flare or something like that that was reflecting on his window shield. This is when he actually realized that the object disappeared completely behind the plane's wing when hovering behind it. Meaning, this is not a lens flare, it's something else. At first, internet users were confused and divided. Some thought it was just a reflection off of the plane and that David was seeing things, and others said that this is clearly not what it looks like. Is it maybe some sort of strange phenomenon that Dennis caught on camera that day? However, there were many leaving comments saying that this is actually a phenomenon that occurs when there's ice crystals in the air. It's called a subsun. And if we take a look at it, it actually does look like a subsun. Here is another video, for example, of what's supposed to be a subsun phenomenon caught on camera by Glad Carrot YouTube channel. It is very similar, isn't it? But I'm not too sure. What do you think? Is it a subsun? Is it a ball lightning? Is it some other phenomenon? Or maybe something else? What's your take? In the past couple of months, many strange things have been occurring with the ocean. And many strange creatures have been washing ashore too. The thing is, we know very little about what really goes on deep inside our oceans. And recently, a very strange creature washed ashore at a beach in Yemen, and people were able to capture it all on camera. This is what they saw. <laughs>
Whatever this creature is, it's huge and it does not look like a whale. And at first, people were coining this a sea dragon. However, after watching this video a couple of times or maybe more, I'm pretty sure that this could be a giant squid. A very giant squid. But I'm not too sure. Researchers to this day have no answer to what the creature really is. Now taking into consideration that lately many strange creatures have been washing ashore, creatures that sometimes make no sense, such as this one that was found washed ashore on March 31st, 2022 on an Australian beach by Instagram user Tanalax. Take a look. Alright, I was just going for my morning walk on the beach and um, I've stumbled across something weird. This is like one of those things you see when people claim that they found aliens. When Tanalax posted this video, comments ranged from Montauk Monster to a possum and other types of creatures. The thing is, to this day, no one knows exactly what this is. If you pay attention to the animal's claws, it has five fingers, which doesn't make any sense at all, and I believe this is one of the reasons that this creature went viral. It doesn't make sense. What is this? Is it a genetic modification, and is this the case with this bizarre creature in Yemen? What is your take? What do you think this is? And have you ever seen anything like it? In previous videos of mine, we've talked about skyquakes, which are strange sounds that people usually hear in the sky, or they think at least it's coming from the sky. Skyquakes are supposedly an unexplained phenomenon, and to this day, a mystery surrounds it. No one knows exactly where they come from, if indeed it's from the sky, if it has anything to do with earthquakes or not. Recently in Ecuador, a very strange sound was recorded on a dash cam. Take a look. Whatever this strange noise is, it's not the first time that it's captured in Ecuador. This is for example another video of something similar that happened not too long ago. The person in the video says that whatever this is, it sounds like a plane, but that he's been hearing this for a while now. In other words, I don't know, a plane should last only a few seconds, not, not as long as this noise lasts. The thing is, an even more bizarre noise was heard in Spain that same year. Check this out. To this day, these strange sounds are a complete mystery. Researchers believe that it could be the result of tectonic plates shocking against one another, but it's not 100% proven, so it remains a mystery. What could it be? Well, this is it for now, but we do have more videos, don't forget to check them out. And leave a like if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe with notifications on for more videos like this. And if you have any strange video that you want to send in, that impossible channel at gmail.com. Don't forget, we now have a Discord server. Link is under the description. And I'll see you guys again.